is Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the beautiful vibes. You know, you're opening up your hearts and just sharing your beautiful stories with me. And, you know, just being being positive and you, you're just sending positive, positive vibes just towards everybody else. And that's truly a blessing. So keep up that great work. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely going to come for you. And that was Irma again. Um, and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and, you know, drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or it's just about you telling me about the impact the gift has been placed upon you. And if you feel like the video has been very important informative and put you in a good place or you know just gave you some good understanding go ahead spread the word give me a thumbs up like and even share it's all greatly appreciated and thank you for coming towards my channel today and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and thank you for stopping by and the music I'm listening to today is 326 Hertz, letting go of fear, guilt, regret, negative emotions, solfigo, frequency, meditation music. And I will post that link in the description box below. Yes, um, and my video today is about Twin Flame 101. He opens when the battle is not yours anymore. When the battle is not yours anymore. I've been, you know, when you're going on this journey, you know, I always say that when I start off going, because we're all on a journey. We're all on a path to greatness. We're all on that path to being the better version of ourselves. And it's just like, you know, I, I read, um, not read tarot, but um, I watch a lot of tarot tarot card readings, especially with certain people um, on YouTube that I resonate really close with. And it's just like, they keep telling me, you know, you have done your part. You have done your part. You need to step aside and let the universe, you know, do their part. And it's just like so many things is, you know, I just want to do so much. And, you know, it's just like, we'll, we'll get ahead of ourselves. You know, we do that a lot. It's like, you know, we'll try to fit, have everything figured out. We get frustrated when we can't, when we get, keep pushing ourselves and pushing ourselves and we feel like we're not getting anywhere, but we're not seeing, you know, the signs we, you know, cause we're so focused on, you know, the actual assignment. And, you know, we get frustrated like that because it, it's just like, if you know, you have your mindset on one thing, and you're trying to get to that goal and it gets frustrating but it's just like you if you do your part in the universities that you're headstrong on not giving up and you you know you might hit that brick wall or you might stumble or you might break something or you know scruff your knee or something but then when they see that you are actually getting up and not giving up and you're trying this you're trying that you know i've done everything you know when i first started my journey out now i was coming out to the public and people don't realize if you're a youtuber that's the hardest thing to do to open your life up to people because you're you know you're opening yourself up to the unknown you don't know how people are going to get you you don't know how you know people are going to misunderstand you because I, I mean i'm a misunderstood person sometimes if you don't get me i can be very complex so it's just when you have done everything you could possibly do towards your goal allow the universe to step in and help you out they will guide you towards your path they will guide you on that next step that you need to do but you have to allow yourself to heal in this process allow yourself to know that the things that you went through is no longer going to hold you back you're going to you know drop that off bury it <laughs> give it a tombstone if you have to because i have to tell myself that because it's just like the cycle is getting too old the cycle is getting too redundant, especially if you've been through it so many times and you know the things that you need to let go of, the, you know the things that you need to change, you know the things that you might need to enhance about yourself. And it's just like, it's a learning process. We all go through it. 
So don't be hard on yourself if you're not getting through that right now. But if you know that you're, when you know you're not giving up, you're not giving up and you're not putting excuses in it, you know, putting it back on the back burner, just keep going. Just keep going. And it's just like the universe will send you those signs. It will send you the next step to know where you're going. But trust and know this battle is no longer yours anymore. And I have to keep telling myself that. When you start realizing things is getting to the better, but when you're blocking your own self from the things that are coming into your life, because we will do that, you know, like Jay Z say, you know. He'll mess up a good thing if you let him. You know, and we will do that. You know, we do things ass backwards anyway. And, you know, we'll look at it after it's done like, did I really just do that? Or, dang. I didn't have to do it, but shoot, it's already done now. It's already out there. You know, but it, it's good. It's okay. It's all good. You know, let the universe step in. Allow them to help you. Because we will get so ahead of ourselves and we think we have to do everything on our own and we will get frustrated. And that's when it's not like sit on your butt, but allow yourself to let let things go with the flow. Don't try to predict things. Stop worrying about how things are going to end because I do that all the time. I'm like, heck, I wonder how this is going to go. I wonder how this is going to be. But you have to just enjoy the ride as a process, you know, and that can be a hard and stressful thing, especially it just depends on the situation of your life that you're going through at the time. And people that are really close to me, they know. So it's just like it's all a process. It's all the circle of, circle of life. But it's just like when we have gone through that same situation over and over so many times, we're going to memorize it like a book. And just it, it would, won't even phase you as much anymore. You know, you get tired of going through it. But, you know, when you go through it each and every time, it has taught you something different each and every time you got on that ride. It might be similar, similar bumps and rides. I mean, bumps and curves or whatever. But you had different experiences each and each and every time, each and every time, and it's a learning process, and you grow stronger and stronger from it. But you have to allow the process of the universe to come through. And I know I'm not the only one that's feeling this because if I'm feeling this out here, and it's just like you know I was going to make this video last night, and it was just like the overwhelming feeling, feeling, and it's just like you know the with, especially with the the this shift that's going on tonight but you won't see this video until the next day so you know you're probably going to go through all these things and you know you're probably getting to the point where you're tired of being tired like i said allow the universe to step in allow your blessings to be able to flow in them don't block yourself from them especially when you know they're coming in i get like that too because there's there's a lot of things it's just like some people don't really understand the concept of the situation especially with me you know, it, it, it's just, it's a lot deeper than that. So it's just like, it's kind of scary to me. So, but I know I have to enjoy this ride. You know, this is going to be something I'll be able to tell my, my children, my grandchildren, you know, of the things that I went through, the things I was able to accomplish, the things that I overcome, the things that I survived from. And you'll be able to do the same thing about your life as well. So it's just, you know, when you have these blessings coming in, if you're doing everything you need to do and you know you're taking them baby steps and sometimes you have to take start taking them big steps because it's just the fact is we don't have too many daggone shifts and we have to be prepared we have to really be prepared so allow yourself to let these things come in allow yourself to be able to heal in the places that you know you need to heal from let these things take that process because I know with myself when I go go through things I go through I try to stop processes process speed up things and it's just like I don't have control over that divine the divine you know the divine spirit has that God has that you know whoever you, you know you pray to has that and it's just like we have to allow the things to go through. You know, everything we go through, we we might feel like, oh, we did, we messed up, we did this, you know, and it'll be in a negative, it'll put you in a negative, you know, vibe. But if you actually really look at everything, is is happening for a reason. Nothing is by accident, nothing is by mistake, nothing is by coincidence. Everything is supposed to happen the way it happens. But if you feel those daydreams come in, you get those dreams, or those visions, or those, you know, those shifts, those those chills up and down, you know, those downloads. A lot of those things come in, let them process, you know. Don't be scared of what this, this is coming in. They're coming in for a reason. 
So I hope you were able to get something out of this video. I hope you're having a blast this weekend. You know, it, it, it's, it, it's just a relaxing day. It's been raining and now I'm just like doing my videos bit day. So it's just like, you know how when it's raining, you don't want to do anything. So I hope everybody is being blessed and highly favored. And, you know, you send out as much love and light as possible. And know that you are truly loved. And know that there's always somebody praying for your better days. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. Go ahead and drop me a line. I love the chance to get, get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about positive feedback of the video. Or your, about your story about your empathic gift. Or how it's affected your life. You know, I love for the chance to get to know you. And I will see you on my next video. And hit that thumbs up, like, and even share. It'll all greatly be appreciated. And I'll see you later. Much love to you. Peace and be wise.